I would like to introduce you to my latest segmented blank. We will be turning one of these today. The outside segments of the blank are honey locust. We have two walnut strips, a paduk strip, and an aspen strip. I've already roughed up my tube. Let me clean any dust from the drilling process out of the blank. For this glue up, I'm gonna go ahead and use some medium CA. Normally I prefer to use uh, epoxy, but we are prototyping and I am kind of in a hurry to get this one turned so I can see what it looks like. See how we look on each end. Hey, we're looking pretty good. I want to kind of center the tube. There we go. And I'm going to use a little bit of activator. Now I did notice that there was a crack in my blank right there. So I'm going to put the medium away and we're going to flood that with some thin. Just going to drool the thin on there. Let it sit for a second. Hit it with some activator. We'll give it a little bit more here in a second. Blank looks really, really nice. You can see an area there where I had to keep uh, CA glue on there to keep from losing it. I'll probably hide that behind the clip. Full disclosure though, this is not the original blank I started with. This is the original blank. I let my tool get dull and I ended up taking a chunk right out of the blank. On this one, I kept taking my skew back to the strop and I stropped it probably four, maybe five times and um, that's what's gonna happen if you're not careful because you are going across grain. If you look at these, you can see the change in the grain. And if you're using any type of tool and it is dull, you're just gonna rip the grain right out of there. So that stinks that I lost that blank. I did put another one on there. It looks amazing. Um... Gonna kind of give you a little bit of a peek at what this blank's gonna look like right here with the CA on it. I did really well during the sanding process at keeping the Paduke dust from staining the Aspen. Uh, however, whenever I used the denatured alcohol, basically it bled, kind of like a dye almost. 
I sanded with 400 grit probably four or five times over this blank, and it took a lot of the staining out, but it, it actually soaked in pretty good as the denatured alcohol soaked in. So I did a great job protecting it when I was sanding from sanding dust, but I need to make a mental note for the future uh, not to clean with denatured alcohol when I have Paduk right next to such a stark white wood. I'm gonna go ahead now and add a first coat of Thin CA. This will kind of give a, an idea of what this blank is gonna look like. Oh, it's gonna look really good. I'm, I am disappointed at the darkness in the uh, Aspen, but at this point, there's nothing I can do about that. And that's why we do this. That's why we do these experimental blanks is to learn these things. I've got my CA finish on the blank. It looks really nice and is ready for the micro mesh. You might remember when I turned this blank that there was a crack in the blank. You can see it right there at the end of the blank. It's just so faint. It really blended in well. I actually had a hard time finding it. What we want to do is make sure the clip covers that little spot. And I'm going to take this little tool here and I'm going to chamfer the inside of the blank. We'll run our barrel brush through it just to make sure we get all of those little brass filings out of there. And I'm going to lay the clip right over top of that little spot. And it is completely covered, and you will not see it. There we go. Sometimes when you press these caps in, the, uh, the cap will want to kind of move a little bit. And you want to try to keep it going as straight as possible, because if you don't, it can stretch the tube, which will in turn break the blank, cause a crack in it, because these blanks are so... Um, just, just there's not much meat between the tube and the outside of the blank, but man, that looks fantastic. Let me go ahead and flip it around. We'll pop the nib section in. And let's just take a look at that. That is a gorgeous blank. I am just pleased as can be with the blank. I will say that the next round of these that I make, I think I'll make these about half this width and maybe position them a little more toward the top of the blank. I think that would look really cool. It's, it's just almost too, too thick, but I really like the blank. I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I was making these blanks. It was an idea that I had, and I wanted to give it a try. I am super excited with how they turned out. It just The blank looks amazing. The pen looks awesome, and I don't think I could be happier with it. it everything worked out. It was a perfect storm. I would really like to thank you for joining me in the shop for this pen. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.